In this video, we will identify different types of text structures and how texts are organized. So what exactly is a text structure? The text structure is how the information in a text is organized. It's important to know how a text is organized so that you understand the purpose of the information and understand how all of the information goes together. The different types of text structures that we'll focus on are description, sequence, comparison, cause and effect, and problem or solution. The first type of text structure that we're going to look at is description. Description is when the author gives features, characteristics, or examples of a topic. Here's an example. Let's say you were reading a text about plants, and in the text the author told you that they grow on all seven continents, most have roots, there's many different types of plants, some plants have flowers, and that chlorophyll makes many of them grow. These are all different characteristics or details about the topic plants, and the author has given you these details all together. It's describing the topic. The next type of text feature is sequence. This is when the author lists items or events in order. Sometimes it's in chronological order, which means it happened first, second, third, and then last. So some key words to look for are first, second, next, then, finally. These types of transitions tell us that the information is being given sequentially in a specific order of how they happened. Here's an example. Recipes are organized into sequence. Look at this recipe. The first direction tells you to preheat the oven. The second direction tells you how to put all the ingredients together and what order you should put these ingredients for the best cookies. And then the third is how long you bake it. So all of these facts have to be in a certain order. You can't bake the cookies and then combine the flour and baking soda. So this is a sequential order or an example of a text feature with sequence. The third type of text feature is comparison. This is when the author shows how things are similar or different. Some key words are same, similar, or different. Here's an example. If you're looking at spring and autumn and you're comparing them, you're trying to find how they are like and how they are different. So they are like because the temperature is moderate, it's breezy, it's a transitional season, or there's bright colors. They're different in that plants are blooming, leaves are dying, the, temp when the weather temperature is either increasing or decreasing, the le length and direction of shadow changes depending on the season, and there's different holidays. So this information shows you how they are similar and how they are different, which is an example of a comparison text feature. The next type of text feature is cause and effect. This is when the author lists one or more causes and then the resulting effects. A cause is what happens before and the effect is what happens after. So some keywords to look for are because, then, therefore, for this reason, as a result, so, results, since, reasons, effects, consequences, in order, and thus. Because all of these are dealing with what happened before or what happened as a result of after the cause and the effect. Here's an example. So let's say you have these causes. Your car runs out of gas, your radiator overheats, your spark plug becomes loose. All of these are things that could happen and the result would be your car stops running the effect. So here you have various causes and then you have an, one key effect. Sometimes you could have one cause and several effects, or sometimes the information might be focusing on just the causes. The final type of text feature that we'll look at is problem or solution. This is when the author states a problem or some type of conflict and then writes one or more solutions or ways to solve that problem. Here's an example. Let's say the problem is city smog. 
the author would identify that problem and then give you solutions on how to solve that. So some solutions to solve city smog would be to outlaw cars that emit too many toxins, require coal burning power plants to use alternative sources, penalize manufacturers that pollute. So the author would argue why these solutions would be effective to solve the problem of city smog. So the next time that you read a text, think about how the information is organized. Is it organized with the text feature of description, sequence, comparison, cause and effect, or problem or solution?